So what's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I'm going to show you guys how to do something that's going to speed up your workflow with Premiere Pro. Now a lot of people use various titles for their projects and it can be a little bit confusing. Also if you have a lot of assets on your timeline, sometimes there's too much stuff on the timeline. So I'm going to show you something called nesting, which is going to allow you to create new sequences to speed up your project workflow. So first what we're going to do is create a new title. We're going to go title, new title, default still. I'm going to call this one Adobe Easy. Select OK. And then, just very simply, I'm going to type in Adobe Easy. Now you see the font here, close this out, and I'm going to press Control C, Control V. That allows me to create a new title. Let's call this Premiere Pro. Double click on that. I'm going to call this Premiere Pro. And we're going to select a different font and style. Close that out. Now say that we want to continue to use this style for the whole project. Control C, Control V, you know, that's pretty quick to copy the title, and we're going to call this one After Effects. I'm going to double click on this. So you see this is a really quick way to duplicate titles. Also the next thing I'm going to do is add these titles to the timeline. So we have the Premiere Pro one there, and then we have After Effects. So you see it goes from Premiere Pro to After Effects. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is nest. And what nesting does in Premiere Pro, it allows you to group your assets together and create a new timeline with a new sequence. So I'm going to take everything in the beginning of my video and then right click and I'm going to select nest. Now it's going to ask me what do I want the nest to be called and I'm going to type in intro. Select OK. Now everything turns green. And what that means is that everything is nested together. Also in your project panel, you're going to see the new sequence right here, intro. Now you can double click over here on the timeline and it's going to open up the new sequence. As you see here in the panel, it says intro. I can close this out. I can also open it over here and double click on the sequence where it says intro. It has the music, the intro video, and the two titles. So I recommend using this when you have a lot of assets or titles because as you're creating different sequences, you can organize your project a lot better. Imagine having a bunch of titles in this sequence over here, intro, rather than having it here with everything that's in your project. It just organizes things a lot better. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.